we are going to fly the Mavic without the controller going Wi-Fi mode on this so just kind of take you through the steps on uh, everything to do on that so we will let me go ahead and get my screen recording app going Mobizen is the one I use I get a lot of questions on that but it's a Mobizen for Android I know that's what I use Samsung uh, Galaxy S7 Edge works really well don't know if it's available for iPhone but I believe it is all right so definitely want to first and foremost when you get your Mavic there'll be a code uh, Wi-Fi code on one of the arms from what I've been told but of course I just threw those right away but you can also get that password code right here on the bottom of your battery tray so if we can see that but uh, so you can get that password code passcode there for to connect to Wi-Fi so you definitely want that all right let's get the DJI go app going wherever the heck that sucker is on here there we go go ahead and turn the Mavic on oh and uh, obviously there is a port over here on this side should be a little cover but this little cover I've already tore it off get on my nerves but Wi-Fi you got RC and Wi-Fi hopefully you can see that RC Wi-Fi flip it over to Wi-Fi So you'll need your password code, which is under the battery tray. Let's go ahead and first let's go ahead and get the Mobizen app going. Two, one. All right, that is recording. Let's go ahead and turn Wi-Fi. It may have connected automatically. All right, Mavic, I've already got my code in there, so it is connecting now. Sure. There we go. It sounds like everything's working properly. Five gigahertz, five gigahertz frequency support in your device, switch aircraft, Wi-Fi. To, yes, you do want five. I do. It's the uh, most recent. I think the 2.4, whatever it is, is a little dated. Auto takeoff. Yes. Yeah. All right, so once you got her up in there, once you put your thumbs on the screen, see, when I touch my thumbs on here, you get your virtual joystick. So if you want to fly forward, just I'm rolling my thumb up on the up arrow. Go ahead and swing her around. So we'll bring her in a little bit here. So again, you're just flying this up via the uh, Wi-Fi which the range I believe is just a couple hundred feet so this is just a terrible way to fly your drone I'm not comfortable with it I'll go ahead and Again, I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and do max height here provided it doesn't go over 400 feet which I don't believe it will up to 60 63 I mean this is as fast as it will go and haven't really looked into other settings as far as if um, you can increase the uh, stick inputs. I'm wanting to say I read that it will tap or cap out at 168 feet. Let's see if that's true. So it's up there quite a ways. Okay, so apparently you can 
set it in there. I don't know, but let's go ahead and bring her on down. So uh, flying Wi-Fi with the phone sucks. If you've ever had a Parrot Bebop and flown with your tablet or phone, just like that, and I couldn't keep the thing in the air without crashing it. So I don't, I'm really not comfortable with just flying it with the phone like that. Like I said, if you know, rain or water or sweat or anything gets on the phone, then that can just really mess things up as far as the, uh, the feed. And wow, it's just really, let's go ahead and just hit the auto land, hit OK. That's a little quicker there. So again, no controller. And I believe, we'll do a test here, but I believe you can just fly it with the controller itself. So if you're still on the range, you have a lot of telemetry on the actual screen that should get you everything you need. We'll go ahead and cancel out of this. I don't want it to land all the way. There we go. But that is the Wi-Fi mode with the uh, Phantom. I mean the uh, Phantom. So I'm so used to the Phantom 3 with the Mavic Pro. So. Anyhow, thanks for watching this video. Be sure and subscribe. Check out a lot more uh, Mavic videos. I do have them in a playlist if you want to check out uh, some of my other testing and, and flights. And again, this is just real world situations. You know, I'm definitely not a professional at this. Kind of learning as we go. I uh, have had uh, plenty of experience with the Phantom 3, but uh, the, the setup is a little bit different on the Mavic. So. But anyhow, hope this helped. If you have any input, any feedback, be sure and leave me a comment below. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Make it a great day. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you in the next one.